Our next guest is from Ireland. Her name is Sarah Cullen and she's from 1840. Sarah Cullen. Hello. So I'm. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm Sarah Cullen. I'm the co founder of 1840. We're an Irish clean en energy advocacy group. We're calling for the repeal of Ireland's anti nuclear legislation. Ireland has two effective statutory bans on nuclear power, which prevent nuclear from even being considered in Irish energy models for deciding which mix of technologies we will use to generate our electricity. Without considering all of our options, it is impossible to know which is the optimal mix, and freezing nuclear out of the conversation therefore makes our energy policy uninformed and unscientific. We often hear that nuclear power is a solution to phase out fossil fuels. Oh, but the public just hate it and the government couldn't go for that. But funnily enough, in Ireland and in Germany too, we find out that the majority of the public don't oppose nuclear power. In particular, in Ireland, 60% of 18 to 25 year olds say we should build a nuclear power plant with only 20% opposed. Young people especially, in Ireland and in Germany, want solutions to climate change with a basis in science, not in rhetoric and emotion. This is a compelling reason to examine the role of nuclear energy may play in a clean energy transition with a focus on hard data. No country's people are unable to understand science, but it needs to be communicated to them. And that's why events like these are so important, where we directly address people affected by energy policy decisions. The German nuclear phase-out is ill-informed and worsens Germany's impact on climate change. Climate change doesn't respect national boundaries and decisions made in Germany affect us all. We have to ensure science prevails and an optimal energy mix may be achieved both in the short and in the long term. In Ireland, the conversation around nuclear is opening and we're beginning to see direct political support. We know that we need to find a way to phase out fossil fuels. And hopefully, we can learn from Germany that this will be so much more difficult without nuclear power. For Germany's sake, and for the sake of everyone who will be affected by climate change, it is essential to pause and revisit this nuclear phase-out, and this time to make a decision based on science. Thank you very much.